The Argentavis, also referred to as the Argent or Argen, is one of the original creatures to feature in Ark Survival Evolved. Wild, these creatures lord over the skies of all Ark's core maps, excluding Aberration of course, where flying mounts are excluded. These aggressive predators and scavengers usually only attack survivors when they're practically on top of them, but they will be lured towards a corpse from quite a distance. These are the complete guides to Ark's creatures and everything you need to know about them and their uses. And we continue with the Argentavis. Without a doubt, these magnificent birds of prey change the game, and taking to the skies on the back of an Argent makes hauling materials and hunting tames 100 times easier. A domesticated Argent enjoys a 50% weight reduction in all resources that it carries, and in my opinion, it makes it the most effective way to carry large amounts of materials across any map. When it comes to taming an Argent, I do have two different traps to show you, starting with the simple dinosaur gate trap. Firstly, let's go over the trap that I personally use myself, which consists of four dino gates and two dinosaur doors. The downside of this one is it does require some guesswork when it comes to spacing out the gates, but I genuinely just leave enough space for a player to fit through the sides. Once you've managed to successfully drag the Argent into the trap, don't be scared to get hit a couple of times, even wearing primitive cloth armor. Any player should be able to take a few hits from an Argentavis and this in turn will help you close the door on the Argent. And the next trap I wanna show you consists of an extra six foundations. The advantage to this second trap is the dino gates easily snap to the foundations at the correct space. And it also makes it slightly easier as you can use a pterodon to drag the Argent into the trap. The pterodon can still fit through the gaps, but the Argent can't. So this one definitely makes spacing out the trap itself a lot easier. Taming a pterodon is quite easy as they only require bowlering to capture them, but as the bowler doesn't work on the Argent, then the definitive way is to trap them. Of course, once the Argent has taken enough torpor damage, it will start to run away from you, so it's imperative that you make a trap for it. And during the taming process, if you can drag a dead creature over to it, it will start regening health. Triggering this rapid regen will drain its food bar and upon knocking it down, the time it takes to feed it will be cut in half. Its preferred food is prime meat and superior kibble or higher is the definitive taming food. The Argentavis of course is one of the few creatures that can utilize a smithy from its saddle. This is a great help for those who play on vanilla settings or official as the smithy itself only has 75 slots but the Argent is only limited by its weight. This makes crafting high tier blueprints possible without installing S plus or a stack mod. The Argent saddle itself is learned at level 62. And if you're lucky enough to find a decent saddle blueprint for the Argent, then I believe it's possible to make a boss fight in Dino. I'm pretty sure the whole group would have been able to defeat on Gamma and Beta, but the Alpha just proved a little bit too much for them with time running out before we could defeat the Manticore. It's something I would like to work on in the future because I think stacking melee damage on these birds, it would be possible to beat the Manticore with a group of Argents. It's only their ability to keep up with the creature itself that made us fail to do so. I'm sure stacking melee damage, I feel it could be done in the time that you've got. Of course, once you've tamed yourself an Argent, picking up smaller wild creatures and dropping them in a trap becomes much easier. And another new addition to the Argent since the TLC came along was giving it the ability to pick up two small creatures at the same time. I did a video on how to tame the otter a while back, utilizing the Argentavis to tame the otter by carrying it in his beak means you no longer have to chase the otter around to tame it and it just requires you to bring the fish to its beak. So check that one out next if you haven't already done so. But the ability to pick creatures up in its beak as well as its talons was a welcome one. So that's everything you need to know about taming the Argentavis, a mount that all players need, and without a doubt one of the most useful creatures in the game. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.